Has their code of conduct. It's just a review. Um, it should each individually sign it so that you can have a good review. Okay. So we'll do this. We'll come back to that. Okay. Um, location of postings of agenda. So where do you want? I've got four towns, so I assume you want to have the postings of the agendas and the minutes a location in each of the towns. Does that mean a physical location or like a uh, on the web location? Well, we already have um, web sites, so you have to post it on right. there if you have a website. So right. And um, each of the town clerks receives a copy of it. And then you have to have at least two other places that you post these agendas and minutes. So I assume we already have locations in all towns that are post. I would be in favor of leaving it at the status quo uh, for foreseeable future. I'll second. Okay. I think that, do we need to vote on that? No? Okay. You just need to know where you want to post them. Right? Okay, so we'll keep, them, we'll keep them where they've been <laughs> And you'll be, posted. each of these districts will be voting on this. We'll, make, we'll be making decisions in the next month. Cool. Anyways, it's part of the board if you want to change anything. So basically you're saying that you want to be posted wherever you are. Yes. Yep. Okay, committee assignments. Well, one of them is going to be negotiations. So if you want to serve, you're going to have two, two you're to, well, I don't know what's going to happen in the next year because I know they've been working on it as one association for support and professional, but we actually have two different negotiations councils. And you guys can see me. Um, so you have a support staff negotiations and you have professional staff. And so you're going to need to decide who's going to serve on each of those committees. Is he approximate time though? Well, that. Two week term? Yeah, well, it's hard to tell. You usually start by October, the beginning of October, and whenever you get it done, which could go into the next year and wherever we go. So anyone shop with fit for this? I just have a quick question. If two two of us have right, two of us can't, right? Because we so have the two that can't. Okay. Um, if you have a partner who's in the um, school district and then employed by the school district. Right? I just 
need one for each one for each. Consider the board membership, which is Article 12. Um, I know that what's been recommended by the committee was 5221. Article 11 is I'm being corrected. Okay, thank you. Um, and I remember at the last public comment meeting on the articles, at that point, what was being proposed was 4111, and the small towns that were going to have the one vote, Woodbury, Greensboro, spoke up at that time, and I agree with what was said, is that if you have one member and that person, for whatever reason, can't attend, then you have no representation. Um, I'm speaking for the standard board, and I know there's other standard folks here that feel this way too, but um, we feel that one vote is not adequate for any town here, um, and so standard you know, would like the board to reconsider Again, I don't see any reason why the board has to vote tonight to warn that for a vote on May 28th. There's, you know, we have two years with the default articles of the current membership, and I urge the board to put off that vote, not of every article, but of this specific article. Um, I do have a legal opinion from the standard attorney that an alternate is possible. It would need to be elected. Um, because school board members are elected, it couldn't be appointed. Um, and if these articles had been available sooner than they were, which they were only posted for five days on the OSSU site, um, then I think I could have come forward sooner and let the committee know that we did have this legal opinion. But the time has definitely been 
short for this process. So again, I'm urging specifically on Article 11 that the board reconsider not warning, not voting to warn that tonight for a vote on May 28th. We do not have uh, the ability to offer an amendment from the floor. Only you at the table can amend uh, the articles before you. Um, when I was thinking about it, the legislature said two, 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 and two for a reason. Uh, and the reason um, was because the towns were different, the cultures were different. Uh, going forward is going to be very difficult. Uh, when they consolidated Greensboro from the one-room schoolhouses to one one-room school, it took 30 years. And before you, you have a task to do that same business, but within four months. Um, I ask you to amend the articles for two, 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 and two. And I would say, why do you have to put it on population? There's no reason that it has to be population. It could be uh, the town gets the most members because they have the highest test rates. That would be Woodbury. It could be the town that pays the most money to the state. That would be Greensboro. It could be the town standard who every single year has the highest tax rate. Why shouldn't they have the most members? Uh, so picking it uh, on just population, because I have the most population, I'm going to be the best to have the best uh, education system is fallacious. And again, I reiterate, there's no need to do that. In these articles, you've got two years. You can figure out how you get along. You can figure out what each of the towns needs. Uh, you can go off the rough bumps, and you can change the composition any time. And I strongly urge you uh, to go back to the 222. Thank you. So just to respond to that, um, there's a very good reason to have Hardwick having more votes than other towns. Because already, you know, Hardwick has 70% of the population. To have 50% of the votes, we don't have equal representation for the number of population per board member. We would already have a much fewer, much, excuse me, much, much, many more people per board member than the other towns would have. So already, it's not an equal representation. So, and, you know, this is already a compromise. The initial version had Hardwick having a majority, which represented the 70% that we have of the population of the combined towns. So by having it 50-50, having Hardwick have 50% of the vote, it gives the other towns the ability to not have anything passed unilaterally. So Hardwick cannot pass anything without the support of at least one member from the other towns. So this does have a safeguard for the rest of the towns so that Hardwick can't take over everything, which I know is a concern and a valid one, um, but it also provides more numbers so that the, the residents of Hardwick have a slightly closer representation than the other towns. The other towns still have more members per population than Harvard would have. Good evening, Michael Carr from Harvick. I'd like to start by saying thank you to all of you for uh, setting out on what you're about to do, which is not just creating this district and the board on uh, the future of our children, which is critical and paramount, but also working towards the financial structure of this board and how the members here will pay it, but also how to create a community of all of these towns that are now sitting in front of you here and hearing their voices all valid and critical and, and pertinent. I would say that in 1965, the Vermont legislature made a very painful decision to reduce itself from one town, one vote, 246 members, down to 150 based on a representational vote. And I think that is sage advice from uh, 40 some odd years ago, that representational vote is something that we should accept and uh, 
and move forward and keep that um, the language as is, as representational, so that the whole community is heard based on the, the people of those communities. Thank you. <coughs> Anyone else? I think it's a great idea for Standard to have uh, an alternate because they're going to always feel that they're outvoted and, and if that's possible I think it should be followed. It, it would be a shame to go back and have to redo this decision. I realize it probably can be changed within the next two years but the idea of postponing it or taking it out of the articles that are going to be voted on, I hope you don't do that. That particular article can be voted by Australian ballot at any time that the board has another Australian ballot item going rather than have a special election. We could do the articles as the committee has presented them to you tonight. We have had great discussion at our committee on who should be represented. We looked at doing it by population, but the numbers were astronomical to make sure that standard was represented properly. We did look at all towns. You could change this by a vote of the board and offer it to the voters if alternates are legal. And I'm not sure they are, and I'm not sure they're not, but that would need to be researched. I'm not questioning your lawyer, Diane, but I just want a second opinion, as we say. And that could be changed in 20 when we vote on the next school budget. Those articles can be amended by the board doing it, and all towns would have the opportunity to vote. We would already have polls open, and it wouldn't cost additional. And I would recommend that we do that. We did try to go by population, and the numbers were just not working. Hardwick has 65 to 70 percent of the population. Woodbury and Greensboro are very close, between 15 and 18, and Standard has either four or six. And the student count is about the same. And your tax rate and the, is set by town, but the amount of bill that each town has to pay is based on the number of students in your school. So if Hardwick has 65% of the student body in our new elementary district, Hardwick will pay 65% of the bottom line. If Standard has 4% of the students, they only pay 4% of the bottom line, which would be less than what you're paying at Lakeview now because you had more than that in Lakeview because of just two towns. And it also is fair, I think, if we go with the five and two, two, one, so that we stay 50-50. And eventually, I would hope that we develop a report where all towns are considered part of the district and not fighting for representation of your particular town. I just want to respond to your comment, Morris, and also to yours, Jen. Um, I understand that the committee wanted to have a 50-50 kind of split. Um, if standard is not there and cannot vote, then you again are in a situation where you have the largest town having five votes and then the other two towns having four. So you're not achieving that 50-50 that split. Um, I think an alternate could solve this problem. I mean, every, maybe every board would like an alternate, you know? And, and again, the attorney said that there's nothing in the law that he could find that would preclude anybody having an alternate. So I'm just asking the, the board again, you have the ability to amend what was recommended to you tonight. Okay, because I'm, <coughs> from what I'm understanding, your lawyer was saying there's nothing in the statute that precludes alternate board members, and the SU lawyer is saying that there's, that the, the statute addresses vacancies that the school board has the authority to fill, not for alternates. So I feel like, I have no idea about what that, I, I would love to answer the question about alternates, because I agree with you, I think it would be a solution. But I have no clear, I don't understand, so, okay. 
Is there anything else anybody wants to say? I'm Stephen Murphy from Woodbury. I'm on the Woodbury School Board, and I also served on the Articles Committee. And I just want to inform the board, if any members don't know, that if, if you are to propose amendments to the default articles, that any proposed amendments involving Article 3A, 3B, or 4A should be counted separately, because those, those articles are subject to amendment by the, a majority of voters in each town. The other, the other amendments, uh, Article 6, Article 11, Article 15, those may be approved by a majority of the electorate, so those votes may be commingled. Um, however, the other ones, 3A, 3B, 4A, those should be, um, should be specified in a warning that those votes be separately counted by each town. And if you'd like, if you'd like to discuss this, it's fairly complicated, but we've got a couple of members from the Articles Committee on this board who I believe understand it well. Thank you very much for your service. Uh, I'm John Miller from Standard. Uh, I was on the Articles Committee, and uh, one of the, what I think was one of my greatest contributions was the severability clause at the end, so that if, if, if our committee decided to play fast and loose, uh, we wouldn't sink the whole ship. Um, but uh, with the dueling lawyers reviewing what we're doing, lawyers are no fun. So that's the end of public comment. Thank you, everybody, for your um, comments. So uh, we have no administration reports, no discussion items, or is there any discussion items? Are there any discussion items? Okay. Uh, so action items um, we need to vote on. The first one is, will the board move forward with the merger with an effective start date of July 1, 2019, or delay for one year? If it's available. As of right now, it's not available. So the legislature has not come to an agreement about whether or not they're going to offer a delay. So do we still have to vote on this? Okay, I think it's a moot point. Does anybody want to vote on this? I don't feel like we have the option. But I'm willing to hear. I think until the state actually says something, right. you know, we move forward right. with a Information date on 1 July 2019. Okay, so number two, <clears throat> articles of agreement. Will the board warn the articles of agreement for vote and we may amend the articles prior to warning? So moved. Okay. Is there a second? Second. I know, I know you know the one about it. So now would be a good time for discussion. We have the date that you know, what's the cut on? No, this is being set up so that it will be voted on on May 28th, which is the proposed budget vote at the same time. It's a cut off date for amendments. So say so we have to be amended vote. prior. Right, so I think we have to we have to warn it by the twenty fourth. We're warning it today, tonight. We'll be preparing the warning tonight so that I have the 30 days to do the vote. Because I need to get it into the Gazette by tomorrow morning so that it can put the Gazette. Yeah. So Wednesday. we can move tonight. So, this is, so if we're going to amend anything for the vote on the 28th, we have to have it. It has to be done tonight. So you have an option with this, just to help clarify this a little bit. So you can accept what the committee has provided. Sorry. So you have some options as a board. You can accept the committee's presentation of the articles as written now. And I do know there's a couple of things that have to be tweaked already. 
You can choose not to move any articles forward and the default articles will remain in effect. You can choose to say we're willing to move the following articles forward and, some, and others not. You can choose to rewrite all the articles if you want. So you have lots of options in front of you. I might suggest that maybe the first thing you need to do is go with the articles that have been proposed for changes and take a look at them and one by one decide if you want to move them forward or not. Um, and then take a straw poll at the end as to where you want to go and then make a decision. That's a suggestion. We have a motion on the table already to approve them as they stand, then do we have to vote that down before we can go by them step by step? Yes. Okay. Does anybody want to discuss anything before we take that vote? Does everybody understand? Yeah. Um, I think the group that's been working since December has taken a lot of time and consideration around this. Um, they've worked rather diligently. They've spent a lot of time on this. It's a very contentious issue. Um, however, I think that we should accept their work as proposed uh, and present it to the voters at this point in time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that as one of the people on it, the only one that I feel like we could talk about is potentially putting in the alternate for standard. We have some language we just couldn't put in because we were waiting on legal advice, and since we have to only legal advice, I kind of feel like if we put it in and it turns out to not be legal, then we have a severability clause, so if that one has to be struck, then we're not going to screw the rest of it, and I feel like it would be... I mean, I understand how standard feels about only having one person. I also understand how hard it feels about wanting to have more representation than just two people, and I feel like the alternate would be a reasonable thing. Um, though I understand what Standard is saying, as being on the school board for over 10 years plus, an alternative, alternate does not work because you spend too much time trying to bring that one person who's never up to speed with anything up to speed on a decision that you gotta make that night. The whole purpose of having representativity of representation is that a person has committed themselves to being at the meetings that are assigned and it's their responsibility to be there and make sure that they're not for vote. If they're not, then the town should not have voted the person in. It's plain and simple. Having an alternate that shows up with no information, no knowledge, you just spin in your wheels. I object to it. I it's pointless, it, it drags the uh, board down, and serves no purpose. So, um, I feel like we have other ways of communicating with the one member from Scanner. Um, things happen, um, so you might get sick, but we have email, we have FaceTime, we have telephone, we have, and, in, and on other committees that I've served on, not in the school facility um, arena, we've had to use that option before. So I kind of feel like we have other choices and ways to get standard represented, uh, even if it is just one person. Does anyone have from standard have anything? I would just add as well that I think having the alternate is important. Having been at a lot of board meetings and knowing that not everyone shows up all the time, and if, if it were up to that one person to show up to represent his or her town, it's, it's a lot to count on, just given the nature of reality. Um, and so I'm, I would say it's a good idea to put that um, amendment in. Is it an amendment? An amendment to the amendment? <laughs> Put that amendment in, and if it turns out that the legal advice is, is false, then then we take we strike it. That's that would be my input. Um, sorry, I just wanted to. Oh, sorry. Catherine, if you put in a clause on the alternate okay. in Article 11, 
and it's determined that that is not legal, then all of 11, according to this Article 15. I would recommend you put it in as an Article 16, and that way, if it does fail, then it's only that part of it, which is your intent. Put it off. So, I guess the question is, is that I would suspect that you want an alternate to start immediately. No. Well, I'm just asking because... Okay, so it's after. It's for the so, it's after. It's for the when it's so we would be cleared that it would be by Australian ballot afterwards. We just have to make sure. So, if, after you get through the first two years, then you, we're proposing that it's Australian ballot for all of your voters to elect your party. So then that would be put in at that time. So I just want to make sure everybody's clear. Because right now you did floor vote for your board members. You're looking to do Australian, so this would be an additional article, an additional position put into the, um, on the ballot. Okay. Bear with me. I'm still getting up to speed on all of this, and I haven't served on the school board before. But my personal hesitation with Article 11 um, is that this initial, you know, when I look back at Article 10A, where it says that the 222 and 2, and again, I, have, I don't have the backstory on what happened in all the committees, and I, I respect that there's been a lot of discussion and work on this already. But um, my concern is that this says, you know, this is the hybrid model of board representation which the United States District Court of the District of Vermont has endorsed as meeting constitutional requirements of proportionality. So as I think um, someone commented from the floor earlier, you know, there's a reason for this and it's not necessarily based on population only. So I'm, my concern is why are we changing what was recommended here? And I just, I feel like it feels like a rush. You know, we have two years. I'm confused as to why we would have to warrant, you know, can we, I understand there's a lot of other things that we want to amend, but can we just, you know, hold on this a little bit and let ourselves get our bearings as a new board before we decide that already, we already know that in two years this isn't working. <laughs> okay, is there any, is there any more discussion? Thanks. I'm kind of in the same boat where um, we are kind of coming up to speed on this, and I, I, I echo everything um, you said. So I would um, recommend, if we can, postpone making a decision on that article tonight. Okay. I think what's on the table right now is whether we warn the. Warning the amendment, the articles of the amendment for a vote, which means we would be warning them as they were proposed to us by the amendment committee. Is that correct? So that that means that if you vote yes for this, it means that you're saying we are moving forward with Article 11 as presented to us. We have to vote no on this if we are going to leave Article 11 out of voting for May 28th. Is that right? No. Well, we have to vote. Right. And the next step can be like, do we warn Article One? Do we warn Article Two? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm just trying to get there. Okay. So, um, I just. All right. So, um, all those in favor of. Uh, Warning the articles of agreement as presented by the amendment committee tonight, say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay, Rose. What, I don't know what to call it, like how to do one. 
You have to say what your vote is. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. 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 So it's, we're not going to do that. Okay, so. What? So what? next, what is the pleasure? What do you guys want to do? <laughs> 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 Okay, so. So do you need a motion? Just need a motion. Or you just like that for Just for articles, we just have to do the ones that we that we have in blue, right? Though, right? Yeah. We don't have to do the ones that. So. Can we make a motion to approve all of the above with the exception of article 11? Well, the returns do people, people were saying people they wanted to, to discuss them, them, so I wanted to be able to I didn't know what the pleasure was. I don't know what the pleasure is. Do you guys want to do an article for the amended article? There are five articles. This is five. Just five articles. So you can So it was brought up earlier around the inter-district choice may be limited only by applicable law or, or as necessary to achieve the legitimate operation of the new union district. I guess my question would be, my question would be, who has the ultimate say in what is necessary to achieve a legitimate operation? Would that be this board? So we could, we could make, some guidance around what we would look at. I think that, that when we were doing these, talk about procedures and policies. Yeah, when we were, we were looking at different policies in other districts, and we, it was just like, instead of putting like bus transportation and all the like listing a huge amount of things that could affect a child being able to go to one school or another, we just decided to put that in there as like a sort of all these things, and also as the amendment committee, we didn't know what the policy was going to be, but we had heard from the public that they wanted there to be a policy created. So that's how that language sort of came about. So, let's say there's a particularly contentious point. Would that be brought before the board and determined case by case, or reach? But before it was, before that case would be brought to us, it would first go to the individual school that was where the person was trying to send their student to make sure that there was space for that student, right? Oh, we're we're setting those parameters, right? I see. Okay, got it. <laughs> I wasn't sure which came first. So it, we're we're sort of saying the parameters, but with the with guidance. Okay. Any further discussion on Article Three? Okay. So all those in favor of warning Article Three, say aye. Aye. All those against. Okay. Article Three, we will warn. Carries. Carries. <laughs> motion carries. Sorry. Okay. I need a motion to warn Article Four A and B. 
So moved. Second. Second. Any discussion? Okay. 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 So, um, all those in favor of warning Article Four A and B, say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay. Motion passes. Carries. Okay. Um, we need a motion for Article Six A, B. Oh, B and C. Sorry. Article Six. So moved. Okay. Second. Sure. Okay. Which article? Article six. Is there any discussion? More questions? Okay. All those in favor of warning Article six, say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Article eleven. We need a motion to warn on the 11. Or we, or we exclude this article from our morning. Mm -hmm. What's the timeline? Or is there a second to exclude? She's made, Sam's made a motion. You second it? Okay. So, you said it's not the timeline, then do you bring it yes. to have any time? Okay. It stays default unless we have a. Uh, I was curious about our membership and some of us are one year and what happens when that one year is up. Is there is is there a process for that or is that's our vote? No, you have to do it from this point on you have to do your district business at your annual meeting that's a couple days before time. Right. Yes. So does that make sense? So February, like I think it's three weeks. What did we decide on? Three weeks. Before, two weeks before town meeting, there will be an annual meeting of this district, and that's where mine and wh whoever the one-year people will be. People will be elected to fill those positions. And is it Australian ballot? No, it's four vote. It's four I think it's four vote. Four vote. Four it's four vote at the annual meeting years. for the first two years. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so there's a motion on the table to not warn Article 11. Um, are you guys, it was seconded, it was seconded, yes. So, are you guys ready or do you want to talk on more? And so, to be clear, we're voting to not warn. Not warn, yes. Can someone up. speak to that a little bit? Yeah. The person who... Uh, I made the motion just because it sounds like... Uh, <laughs> We have some voices from our community that um, are not sold on the way it's written right now. And this would just give us a chance to get the articles, the other articles voted and into place and give us a little bit of time to figure out the legality piece. So by not moving Article 11 forward, we're going to have the default Article 11, which is 222, take effect. One July. Regardless of Article 11, we have 2222 for two years. That is a given already. That's We're not voting on that. That's the default. So if you say no to this, Article 11, then it automatically means the 222 default. Oh, no. So, no you. But here's the thing, though. The way Article 11 is currently listed, though, it says this is for on and after the district's annual meeting in 2020, which is next year. 2021. No, we changed that. We changed 2021, Joanne. We struck 2020 and put in 2021. But we also struck other parts. That <laughs> I know, but if we're striking, if, if we are going forward with the default, it's important to point out that this state, the default article states, oh, that okay. this starts on and after the district's annual meeting okay. in 2020. Right, I got what so, you're saying. I understand what you're saying. It's a, no, it's okay. I just, I just realized that. That's a, so previously, 
so before it was amended, it, we had the 2222 only until 2020. And then it continued <laughs> as, two, 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 as the same thing. Correct? shall be composed of individuals elected pursuant to the hybrid model of board representation in the numbers and allocations set forth for election of the initial members under Article 10A unless and until the voters of the new union district amend this Article 11. So we'll keep it 2222 two, 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 until we change it. That's correct. Um, and then there's a little bit of language after that that goes, except as provided for the election of the initial members of the new union board in Article 10B, each new union district board member shall serve for a period of three years or until his or her successor is elected and qualified as required by Vermont law. Um, and each member of the new union board who serves after the expiration of terms of the initial board members shall be elected in an annual or special meeting of the new union district, which is what we just talked about. Terms of office shall begin and expire on the date of the new union district's annual meeting. In the event the new union district's <coughs> annual meeting precedes town meeting day, the terms of each board member shall begin and expire on town meeting day. So, so I that's think what the default says. The only thing that we need to all realize what we would do with that is that one of the things the committee, committee struck was the whole until his or her successor is elected and qualified because it means that if you don't get someone to replace you, you're still a board member. I wouldn't worry about that. Okay, then we won't worry it's about it. Okay. The board will have to fill the vacancy if you don't have anybody. You can't hold somebody off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so all those in favor, of not warning Article 11, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. Okay. So that's. Do you have Sorry. This is so tricky. I just, I, I hear all these different, you know, there's a few voices that we don't have a large representation. Mm -hmm. um, we have very few voices, some strong opinions. Um, I see both sides. I, I, I am interested in this alternate piece, um, and but we have those questions about the legality of that. Um, so I guess that's just spinning in my head right now um, because I do want to have a fair, you know, want to be able to represent all these ideas. In a fair way. Yes. So clarification, correct me if I'm wrong. Regardless if you pass Article 11 for warning it as currently written or as a default, we still have two years before it takes effect. Right now, you'll operate as this current board. Correct, for the next two years. Yes. So we have two years to figure out an alternate for standing. Yes. Is there enough consensus <laughs> to agree that we should move towards a 5 2 2 1? plus an alternate, we can figure out the alternate component over the next two years. Or is there not enough consensus that we should dispose of this and go back to the default article until we figure out the rest of it? Well, we're just, we're just Regardless, we have two years. We're, all, all we're doing as a board right now is voting whether we want to present this article to the electorate of this community, of these communities. So if we choose not to present it, then it's the default. If we present it, then the electorate gets to decide. Well, he's proposing an amendment to what's written there. We Can just, we do that? Yeah, we, we just voted, and I have yet to hear the outcome of, of that vote. Yeah. That should right. determine whether or not yeah. anything. So right. what's so the outcome of the vote? The outcome was two names, one abstention, and then all right, so we're not moving forward? So we're not moving forward it's, with it as written. It's a new point then, from this point on. But he's asking if, we can, if, we, if the committee wants to amend it and move forward, moving toward a 5 2, two one, 
with with or without help. With or without. So what are you? What are you actually <laughs> proposing then? Could you make a motion then? I make a motion that we approve Article 11 as written, with the understanding that this board will work uh, to understand the alternate issue for standard one way or the other. We have a legality issue at this point that we are unaware of what that's going to turn into. But we have two years, one way or the other. I am incredibly hesitant to throw away the work of this uh, amendment committee on this article. to delay things, but I wonder if there was a time where we, you know, when we have our next board, uh, a board meeting to discuss this particular issue and we put it out to the public that this is specifically the topic of discussion and try to get as much, more, as much representation from all the towns and the opinions and, and really hear what the electorate wants. Well, you didn't have much of a showing. And you're not going to get anything. You're lucky to get what you got. We do have time. We have two years. We have two years. Well, we do have two years. So how would you? So I, I would. I made a motion to approve it as written, and then we work to adjust it. But that's that. going against what that's we all just voted on. But you can make a new motion, right? Right. So we're going to re vote on the thing that we just voted on? Yes? Is that? I turned it into a positive motion. I'm just trying to understand what I'm doing. Colin, I just have a point of order. I'm having a hard time hearing. Could you just reiterate? I thought there was just a vote. It was a vote to, there was a vote that passed to not approve Article 11 as written. And now there's a motion on the table to approve Article 11 as written with the, com Say, sorry. With the commitment of this board to work on that alternate uh, position for standard. We have two years, one way or the other. We have two years. And I am, again, incredibly hesitant to throw away the work of this uh, amendment committee uh, so, so readily. When we do have two years, this is still something we can figure out. So. Uh, there was no announcement of the previous vote. No, I said that it passed. That it was you did. Good care. Yes. I'm you sorry. did. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm not. This is my first time here in this chair thing. If you haven't noticed that already, so. I understand. You're in that chair, and all of a sudden. <laughs> and I'm not used to the microphone. Um, okay. So, well, Kevin says there's um, moving towards Use this. The so Kevin is suggesting that we move towards um, this idea of having an alternate. But one of the catches that we started off with is that we don't know we're having conflicting legal advice on that particular point, right? So we can say we're working towards that agreement, but we might get advice tomorrow that says that's not legally possible. So, so, then, so then what happens then? Is, is, that, is it automatically the 5221 without an alternate? That's what I guess my point is that I just, I, I just want to point out as someone who voted not to warn Article 11 that we're not throwing anything away. We're not discounting anything that the work that people have done. I just want a little more time for us to figure out this alternate legality, I don't feel comfortable putting this in front of voters when we don't have that answer. Because then, what are you voting on? You don't know what your that's you know we don't know what we're voting on. So we have some time. Let's take you know I voted to take the time. It's not throwing anything away. It's still honoring all the work that everybody did. It's just giving us a little bit of time to get our bearings and make sure that we have everything in order before we go ahead and warn how we want to amend Article 11.
this isn't a public comment, just a question you might ask in pursuing this is if an alternate is allowed for one board member, if an alternate has to be allowed for every board member. Thank you, that's one question. Chair, I'd like to call the question. Okay, so all those in favor of of warning Article 11 as presented with the understanding that the board will be working toward an alternate for standard, or an alternate, the option of an alternate. Um, say aye. Aye, aye. Aye. And all those opposed? No. Okay. So the motion does not carry, and it's five, two, three. So, we're not warning Article 11. We're going to allow Article 11 to go back to the default. And that's how it will be until we decide on this. Right. Um, so the last article that we need to look at is Article 15, which is the severability. I think, uh, can I just say something on the homework about 11? Yep. Um, Yes, I, I would just add that we put that on the agenda of our next meeting and see where we're at with the legally as advice that is being requested and just have an update on that. So, can someone make a motion to warn Article 15 for severability? So moved to second. Okay, any discussion? Okay, all those in favor of <coughs> Warning, Article 15, as written by the Amendment Committee, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay, the motion carries. Um, the next thing is the... Sorry. You're going to... So, you can come back to this, but you're going to need to make a motion to do with um, the warning for this that we're moving forward. So, I'm speaking and cleaning up things we just talked about. So we will come back to the final motion to board and then sign off on the next second. You want to do the budget? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can focus on the articles. Does anybody else want to talk to the budget? I do. <laughs> I would, please. Could you get me one, Steve? Yeah. yeah. push them together. So the Lakeview budget that's already been passed by voters, the Harder budget that's already been passed by voters, and the Woodbury budget that's already been approved by the board and set to be presented to voters, um, those are the three budgets that we pushed together. The only addition um, 
was a 0.2 FTE increase, um, which amounted to $14,000 or 0.02% of the overall budget. So that's the only change that's been made from those three budgets. So the net outcome of that is a budget for the new Union Elementary District that totals seven million two thousand five hundred fifty-nine dollars in total expenditures, with an equalized uh, spending per pupil of eighteen thousand one hundred twenty-seven dollars. <laughs> so basically, what that means is your equalized tax rates for Greensboro will be. 72.86 cents, or your annual actual tax rates for Greensboro, 72.86 cents, um, which did go down because Greensboro got a CLA increase of a, almost a percentage point, um, an adjustment from the state. Hardwick's tax rate will be 87.2, Standard will be 102.08, and Woodbury will be 93.95. All of these are lower than what the individual budgets were. Uh, it was basically the difference in the yield uh, and the CLA change that Greensboro experienced. Um, this, the property yield is a number that's line seven. If you're looking, you only going to below line five, two lines below line five, is a base end amount property yield is 10,666. This is a number set by the state. This is still a moving target. It's past the House, but hasn't been passed by the Senate, my understanding yet. Kevin, is that still true? Okay. So this number will probably get a final approval probably end of May. Um, it's moved all over the place this spring as Ed spending has gone up and down. Um, estimates for the state. So right now we're at 10,666. Uh, which is an increase from last year. This goes up, your property taxes go down. This number goes down, your property taxes go up. So, uh, and that's been a, a change from uh, Harvard's budget has gone up, and Woodbury's has gone up from their budget. Uh, Lake Hill the same. On the revenue side, we're looking at uh, local revenues. Uh, about five hundred sixty-six thousand dollars between the three entities. And you can see that on it's line two on the first page to the tax count. <coughs> so this has been gone through at your local board levels, embedded. Passed. It's been through the transition board and passed. And now it's being presented to you all with that one tweak of point two, which the transition board vetted last week, and to be presented to voters coming forward. Or going forward up until it's May 28th. Can I ask a question? No. So what about why is there two? Just yeah, for there's, a there, there's a label by function, yes. So, okay. yeah. so this four-digit number is function <coughs> in the GL. Okay. So that's that's why. Okay. So that was the question on the last page, on page three. So you're just looking at uh, 2711 and 2720. They're both labeled transportation. They're both transportation functions. I make a motion that we accept the budget at seven million two thousand five hundred and fifty nine dollars for the school year two thousand and twenty. Yeah. Thank you. Discussion? Okay. All those in favor to accept the budget, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, the motion carries. Okay, and then the last bit is the, well, the 
board resolved to join the Vermont Municipal Employee Retirement. We just adopted it. Okay. I think the board will be on May 28th. Yeah. 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 Y
board. And do we go on that? Do we yes, so you board? need to decide who your legal counsel is going to be representing this board. Do all the school boards have the same legal counsel right now? All the well, well, right now, because of the merger, each town is somewhat chosen. So before form. the merger, did all the school Well, before the merger, we used one legal entity for all of them. Okay. For the SU? Yes. Okay. And was it Pietro? Yes. Okay. Is there anything we need to line up on the 14th to the 28th to support? Uh, well, probably advertising and how you want to get out to the public. Um, just have face maps and logistics for being here. You're going to have to do a public informational budget meeting because you're voting by Australian ballot. So right now I just got this warning taken care of. You have the warning, the budget warning yep. should already have some of the information right on it. So it will be May 21st at your public informational meeting. So part of it is getting out and getting people here to vote. I to show anything to vote their towns. Okay. And the usual methods will be approved. You know, in the Gazette and in the town of Orange Forest. But you all can post. Yeah, no, no, but it won't just be us. That's no, I mean, you got to get everybody to work on this mm -hmm. and go knock on doors and all this stuff. All this stuff will be posted so it's available. Yeah. So our budget has been warned. Public information on May 21st, as well as on May 28th. This is it. Put the Gazette. Um, clerk <laughs> needs to sign on. <laughs> we're just having people kind of look at the articles and make sure we're clean before you. Those are both at six. Did I catch everything? I, I need more time to. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have to run with it again. So you did it largely just as subtraction. I took out 11. Right. And then I had a couple of typos that needed to be corrected, so I took care of those. And then I reworked oh, what you re saw for this morning. It doesn't affect the art. Right. 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 The town clerks will count those separately on their own and record the results. The articles that are voted by Australian ballot, everybody comes to Hardwick to count the ballots. But the I, I think this bears some discussion among the board. I, I see an inconsistency in the way this is presented under Article 2, for example. Um, in, in the preamble, it says Article 2, referencing 4A. And then our, under Article 2 in the body, I see Article 4A and 4B. Well, Article 2 of the warning is referencing Article 4A and B. And again, going back to the preamble, it says the remaining ballots cast for Article 3, and it refers to Article Roman numeral 3. Well, that's why I asked you all to read this. Well, no, I know, but I think that what this speaking to is the fact that... So at the top, it should say Article... So Article 1, Article 2, is referring to Article... Oh, it should say Rain Ballots Cast for Article 2. Okay. Or we're looking at the actual article. She's yeah, looking at the one. Sure. No, I see what you're saying. It's Article 2, 4B. Yes, not Article 3. Okay. It's just page yeah, one. No, I get it. <laughs> and it's one sided, so that helps. That's why I wanted you all to take the time because this is trying to be this on the wall. And I'm on the previous one. Well, because you're writing your articles, these these articles are one, two, three, four. And then in each article is another there's the list article. Of article. The original articles were three A, B, and four. Uh huh. I mean, I can remove article, the, our attorney wrote this, so I can remove article one and just say article three. Yeah. That would be easier. And then article two. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. That's confusing to me. But yeah. The double numbers. Yeah. yeah. Because you're voting on articles that are voting on previous articles. articles. So we can you like the items that the one and the two. I think it would help clarify it. The main concern is can the voters figure out what they're voting on, right? That's that's what we're concerned. Sorry, I'm under under the warnings, do they need to be referred to as articles? Yes. Just generally. Right. right. Yes. Yeah. I, I just want to bring up too. We got to distribute hard copies. Stand in front of someone there once a week for half a day. They're gonna get dropped off on a Wednesday. <laughs> okay, it's gotta be Wednesday morning. We know. Okay. <laughs> We've been in communication quite frequently over the last few months. Oh, so, okay, so Article 2, I've got um, any other things, so you want me to strike Article 1 and just put Article 3? Well, just the fact that it says Article 1 here, and then it says Article 3 there, and then the blog it says Article 2, Article 4, which is But it's about Article 3. Right, so just those subheadings, or I don't know, whatever you want to call them. But, but our voters what if you went like and you use letter like for the top and if article A is to vote on article three or is that too confusing? I, I can just remove it, it says I can just put article three. Oh yeah, that's that's just article three because I think that when people are discussing this, they're just going to be confused. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I withdraw that last comment I made because 6A is not amendable. That's what I said. Yeah, you are correct. I was wrong. <laughs> that that shouldn't even seem should to me. It should have been in there, but I'm not going to worry about it. Article 15 will be sealed, reopened, and pulled in place for the next meeting. Okay, Article 3, I'm just changing Article 1 to Article 3. Article 2 to Article 4. Should we take out 6A if we're not supposed to be voting on it? Just so that we don't just vote it as a board to accept the arguments. <laughs> I mean, if you want to go back and amend, you can do that. I'm just wondering about making sure that we're dotting our eyes and cross our T's. Article 6. Article 6 is fairly important. Okay. Thanks, Michael. Is it in there? Voted by. What did you say? So, voted by. Instead of by the town? Each. By each town. Make a motion that we take 6A out of the articles presented to the public for a vote because it is not amendable. Does everybody understand? Yes. Okay. Uh, 6A. 6A. Mm -hmm. All those in favor of taking Article 6A out of what is presented to the public say aye. 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 All those against say no. Okay, motion passes. Signature line. I have the legal voters of Orleans Southwest <laughs> Union Elementary School District. It's the next. At the bottom. The next one. Yeah. Yeah. It's the yeah. Elements, Elements Southwest. Oh, this is the W. Okay. Any others? I think that's hot. Good. So we changed everything to read articles and the numeric articles. <coughs> All right. Let's try it one more time. <laughs> Here's Article 3A. 
In favor of the article, not in favor of the article. 3B, same thing, 4A. And then the other articles will be each article separate like that, and it will be for the entire electorate. There will be a certain color for each town. Well, there will be a certain color for the town vote. And then there will be a certain color for the electorate votes. And then you're voting on your budget, so there will be another color for your budget. So you guys did the warning for the town, right? For the budget. budget. Yeah. <laughs> John, you have the warning. All right. Everybody, yeah. both the question for the board. Oh, yeah. Okay. The, Hold on a second. Somebody has to, to read this. Don't read no. the. All four pages. No, 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 no. <laughs> this one, the budget one has to be read by somebody, right? I understand. I don't know that you need to. Do we? But you have a question. They do. You have to read it according to Alberta. <laughs> Can you wait till we read this? Okay, I'm sorry. Thank has you. nothing Where to do with that talk. Informational hearing going to be here. Should we put that in there? Yeah. It doesn't say where. I'm sorry. <laughs> Now they signed it. Well, let's see. Now, um, I have to read this whole thing out loud. <laughs> That's why I was saying thank you for doing it. Okay. You have to read the article that says the amount that you're about to vote to vote yeah. Okay, just well, that. We're gonna fix this oh. a minute here. Well, you know, I could be back. You can read that part, part and then I'll read <laughs> the rest of it. So you just have to read article, article one. Okay, Article 1. Shall the voters of the school district approve the school board to expend $7,002,559, which is the amount the school board has determined to be necessary for the ensuing fiscal year. It is estimated that this proposed budget, if approved, will result in education spending of $18,127 per equalized pupil, voting by Australian ballot on Tuesday, May 28th, 2019. Keep going. Okay. Is that the only part? Yeah. Okay. I'll second that. Yeah, we're making a motion. <laughs> All those in favor of warning the motion as read, say aye. 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 Those opposed? <coughs> motion carries. This needs to be re signed. That was proofreading. No, you weren't. <laughs> So, so you know what I'm so talking about. Good. I have not forgotten you. Stephen, what would you like to say? I have a question. As a procedural matter in, in voting on these articles, and maybe for future voting and counting of ballots, um, in, this, in this paragraph describing how the votes will be counted, part of it has the, the clerks in each town counting the votes, votes for the um, the articles that are amended by each town, and then sealing the ballots and bringing them to Hardwick and then commingling them. I just wonder, as a matter of as a matter of process, should should all the votes be sealed and then everyone brings them here, and then they're you know counted sort of communally or that's what and, commingled is. And, no, no, I know, but but the votes are commingled. But according to this draft here, the votes. Some votes would be counted by each clerk at each polling place. You have some votes, correct me if I'm wrong, Joanne, but don't you have some votes that are specific to each yeah. town and then the yeah. others are specific to that's, the group as a whole? Yeah, so I just wonder if... That's I just what we're saying is just that there are the ones that have to be... I'm just created. wondering about the administration. Should it all be done together? That's my question. Or should some be counted? I think for the ones that the, that are town <coughs> specific, they should be counted up there. By their I would strongly encourage you not to help the town clerk. Yeah. Okay. 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 Just a question. Okay. Strongly encourage okay. that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yes. As a point of order, I have to I excuse myself for okay. 15 minutes. Okay. I'm trying, Kim. Yeah. I'm trying. So, we have to sign this. Yes, we have to re sign this. We should destroy it because it's correct. Okay. That's the new one that we call it. And is the same true if this one needs a place where we're going to. This is the warning. Well, because I have, to, I have to write. Oh, no, this is fine. Yeah, I'll. Because that has an open type of name. Right. So I have to 
write them in the order that they are, so I'll just have to Okay, so we have to all sign I'll this. just watch how we, what order we sign it. So we can sign, starting with Rose. Rose, 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 Rose Kevin, Kevin, Sam, yeah. Kim, Luke, so you have to sign this one. Rose, Rose. Rose, Kevin. Rose, <laughs> Rose, Rose, Rose Catherine, <laughs> Sam. It was you skipping. Yeah, it went just down the line, yes, yeah, so exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying, because that requires just to put the type for your name, and if, you, if Taylor can't read the, the, the signature, then well, we get out our little open name, secret decoder ring. We could all print the sign and these. Yeah. That would work. Huh? We could all just print the sign and decoder. I know. I know. I know. I know. I I I was thinking Cal, because we went Caledonia, or Leeds, and Washington County, or something like that. We had one already. What was it? Was it Mountain Mountain River School? Well, they're moving to Morrisville, so you know how we decided to leave you. I was there when we changed the name of got to make suggestions and then it was voted on and whichever like the students, students voted on. Yeah. That's why it became Lakeview. Yeah, like okay. Student vote. You still want to see Lakeview. Lake <laughs> well, yeah. From like this was 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, no, just as long as everybody signed in the same order. Because yeah. 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 Alright, that is the only thing we're doing is the location. Right, you sign that. Alright, so now I can print this one. Alright, so the first one. Yes. This is the good one. This is the good one. This is the good one. So before anybody signs this, Code of contact. It says that we're in the public schools of Virginia. Auto correct. Wrong B state. Point out that we are in Virginia. Nothing against the people of Virginia, but I don't know if they're going to be the most desirable. That one was done. That's weird. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to dot my eyes. <laughs> Oh, so.